Hello, Scrabble here, back with more Blasphemous on the Nintendo Switch, also available for Steam, PS4, and Xbox One. Really loving this game. This game is absolutely fantastic. Such a treat. Just FYI. But, there's one complaint that I have about it. I guess I don't have a dash slash. There's one complaint that I have about it in particular that you should know in case you have the same problem that I have. It's that on the Switch, and I assume not on the other versions, but I could be wrong. On the Switch version in particular, if you have the game open... Ah. Uh, if you have the game open... And you close the switch down. Like, hit the power button. Snooze it. It continues to count the game time. So when you look at the file select screen, it's going to say, Oh, you've got 20 hours playing this game. That's not actually true. Pet peeve of mine when these things aren't tracked properly. Now you'll see, like I said, we got the relic last time. That makes the blood platforms appear. And that's what that does. Okay. So, we got a painted wood bead. It is a sphere covered in yellow varnish. The chipped paint betrays its origin. Holm Oak of the Forest of the Holy Line. It recovers health when destroying surrounding objects. We call this pilgrimage route the trail. Our wagons have always passed through here, and the tracks have gotten deep enough to unearth the chalky sand that lay hidden under the thick forest, such that if one could see it from above, it would look like a long ochre line crossing the woods. They're talking about where we are right now, of course. Um, I don't know if I missed something, and I just want to take a look in case I did. Oh, no. Okay, we got it last time. Whoop. Yeah, I don't care. A little bit of damage is fine. Like I said, I'm kind of timing... Kind of timing the uh, getting of our abilities for how I want to pay for things, since we're also doing things like paying for vial, la vial flasks. Sometimes it's tough to enunciate properly. It's been a problem I've always had. Ah! Oh, nice! Ah, oh, sorry I didn't crush him. Should have. Bam! Uh, just kill them out. I really wanted to see the execution. Boom. Well, that'll kill him. Ow. Just trying to trigger the execution here so that we can all see and enjoy. Okay, we're back to a little... El Barrow. I want to say Alero, but we know it's El Barrow. Um, did I do this last time? I feel like I did. Let's just make sure. I totally forget. It was yesterday, but I forget. Bring me anything that can be. Yeah, we did this yesterday. Okay. And we still don't have a second item that can be blessed. Oh, there's the circle. Oh, yes, I remember now. I had that same problem yesterday. I don't have it on the handheld mode. Handheld mode, I can completely see there's a circle there. But in docked mode, I have a really hard time on my displays. It must be the contrast. Seeing what's actually there. Okay, make sure I don't have anything still for you. Yep, great. Okay. Like I said, we are going to head back to the mountains. Which is this way. We have to go down through the desecrated cistern. Um, do I want to get an ability? Yeah, see, I am missing this. It's 1500, though. I guess I don't have 1500. I will later. <laughs> I like the dash slash. The dash slash is really good. Um, this is the wrong way. Right now, that'll take us to Mercy Dream. 
a mercy dream is not where we want to go. We want to go to the mountain place whose name I can't remember through the desecrated cistern. I really like the dash in this game too. I can tell you it's definitely tough to go from a game file where I'm significantly further to this game file because it's like, oh, all the things I don't have yet, but we will get them eventually. Okay, back to the mountains of the endless dusk. Bloop. Oh, I bumped him. Ow. Contact damage. That's where that dash slash comes in handy. We already did all this stuff. Oh, come on. I thought I actually had that. Oh, we gotta be careful there. We touched those spikes. We're dead. I've had some really crazy spike deaths. We're going to save. Now, we've been here before, but we didn't make it through. Let's just check the map, see how far we got. Okay, we got a little further than we did right now. Not too much further, though. Oh. Ah! Whoa. Okay, he's dead. He was my main concern here. Great. Yeah, I have found since that we could just actually jump right over that guy. He's just the perfect height for jumping over. Whoa. Uh. We do this. We're gonna drop, run, and jump. Ow. Whoop. Strange that we can't dodge through these guys. Ooh, yes, that guy's rough. Okay, we're gonna heal. I mean, luckily we're saved just here, so it's not a big deal if we die. I don't think we're gonna die, but it's not a big deal if we do. Okay, here we're gonna run. Oh, we're gonna smack that out of the air. Three hits is enough right now to kill him. We're gonna heal. And yeah, we didn't get this far. Okay. And here, we have a lightning boss. Ow. Oh, ah, run, run. Woo. Now you should know this boss is completely optional. If you die, that's fine. If you win, that's fine too. And that was really stupid. Now I want to win because this is a 100% run and I want the item that uh, we get for winning. So. If I die, I'm going to restart. Uh-oh. And we might die at this pace. Whoa! Okay, back and out. My controller is also almost dead. Now, I'm not cutting this out. I normally would cut this stuff out. However, 
my rendering has had problems when I've made cuts, so I'm trying very hard not to make any cuts. And again, none of the playtimes on that screen are correct. They are just the fact that I've had the game open. Which is unfortunate because it means I don't know how long it's actually going to take to beat the game. Uh oh. Uh, no, I think that's fine. Just like I hope that it's. <clears throat> Oh, come on. Yep, don't care. And press the right trigger to fall. I don't care about killing all the guys. What I care about here... ...is beating the lightning lady. Alright. We should be in a good spot, so let's hope we're in a good spot. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna actually change my prayer... ...to the speed prayer, because... Ground Pound is going to do nothing against this boss. Ow! <laughs> Whoa! And then just, we'll try and be sure not to get greedy. Uh-oh. Ah! You've seen my my uh, gameplay before. You know that I have a habit of trying to get greedy. Oh, come on! This is real bad. I don't even think this is a particularly hard boss. Honestly. It's very much just don't get greedy. There we go. Whew! We've acquired Perpetva's protection. I think it's Perpetva. It could be Perpetua, but I think it's Perpetva. Ribbon of crimson cloth carefully rolled and still scented with ancient oils. Members of the Anointed Legion wrapped their bodies in these soft ribbons anointed with protective oils which contrasted their otherwise heavy armor. The determination of its former wearer offers protection against lightning attacks. The Cedr or sorry, Esdras, you say, spoke the soldier. That madman could not bear the death of his sister. He's still talking to her as if she were there beside him. Sometimes it even seems as if they were arguing. He's long gone and hasn't been seen since. As you see, uh, let me see if there's a U in here. Arguing. Yeah, so this is Perpetva. As you can see, Perpetva has a brother. The brother is Esdras, and Perpetva is dead, but is still talking to Esdras. Somehow he is still able to communicate with her. Okay, we're gonna drop. Now this looks like Hondo, which is, as you remember, it's a giant upside-down bell in the earth. Penitent one, we traverse strange roads under the same firmament, with nigh other trade, nigh other name. My name is Redento, barefoot pilgrim of the Order of the Genuflectors. Prithee, taketh nigh affront in my not looking at thy visage. For we, at each moment, lean forth, so as not to divert our eyes from the path. Such is our old precept. We are before Hondo, 
a great buried bell, erected upside down so that its ringing would make the earth tremble and reach distant lands. Now Hondo resoundeth in a deep triune moan that traveleth in echoes through its broad spiraling circles. My feet wish to cross to the other side of this ancient valley to move on to the next destination. Oh, my sins, who could help me? So, Redento, really interesting, doesn't raise his head. It only keeps his eyes down because he only looks at the path. It's a miracle he's not dead. Not the miracle, which as we know is quite nasty. He wants to continue this way, but this thing is not moving. Here to look for a crossing to the other side, so as to continue my penance in wandering. Ah, don't let it be a disturbance to thee, penitent in guilt, for my feet will find their long-awaited walking. Penitent one, may thy trade silence neither thy spirit nor thy frame. All right. And now we go down into the bell. We can't help him right now. Maybe we can help him later. Which is interesting, because I don't know that we are necessarily a nice guy, per se. You also see here, like, we can't get up there, but it looks like there's something wrapped up there. I believe it's a ladder, and I think eventually, anyway, we will be able to get up. Ah! Uh-oh. I think that happened the first time I came into this area, too. But, these guys are really not hard if we can keep it going. You can see, this is gonna hurt us and knock us to the ground, but... Killing the bell ringer is going to prevent them from ringing the bell. Okay, and now we've... Moved a thing, which has actually caused some guys to come down here. Take care of those weird birds. Ah! Gonna heal. Gonna heal. You no need to worry. The, uh... If you die... Flipping these levers is still going to count as having them flipped. We get the scapula of Carlos, the executioner. I know a Carlos, and I wonder if he backed this game. His hatred for people was as great as his love for animals when he was ordered to execute a dog that had bitten a bishop. Carlos refused for the first and last time. Carlos, thank you so much for backing Blasphemous. I have had just one heck of a great time with it. And you're at least partially responsible since you backed the game. And that was really, really dumb of me. Ah! And unfortunately, these moving objects, we cannot catch them the same way that we catch ledges. Also, good to know. Three hits, all it takes. Hey, don't... Okay, so slashing it is not enough. It means there must be a something down the line that lets us get to it. And that looks like a prayer container. We've had prayers and things like that before, so we should remember that there is a prayer down here. In fact, I'm going to take a screenshot just so that I remember. Because there's no icons on the map to indicate things, it's easier to forget them. Okay, we want to be careful here because we don't want to get hit. Nor do we want them to combo on us. Alright, this way we cannot get across. I'm guessing if we try to jump that, I mean, it looks possible, but it's also possible that you try and jump across it and you die. Okay, we got a Pridia. So now we have our nice save point. Of course, the bell ringer comes back, but there's no bells on this side, so it's not a concern. We're gonna jump across for fun. And 
I'm stabbed. Yeah, can't actually get up there. Whoa! That was really down with me. Okay, and this is also a, another way for us to learn. As you can see, we got a bell up here. We hit it. The blast shatters the thing that is keeping the gate shut. Bells are totally going to be a mechanic here. And this also teaches you. This teaches in a really great way, right? Because you see that you hit the one, it's going to bounce to the next one. The bell ringers have already shown us that, but if we fail to learn, because we're people and people fail to learn a lot of the time, we can see. There we go, open up a shortcut. Now, I'm not sure what the problem is here. I think the problem is those two giant chains on the object in the back. I do think we have to cut those chains in order to get this going. So I just... I don't know for sure... I have beaten this section, but... I did not pay close enough attention to know... what the changes that were successful actually were. So, do we go down, or do we go up and around? Let's go up and around first. Boop. Uh, we can't go up and around. Okay! Well, that takes care of that one. But we did get more Tears of Atonement, so we will be able to get the dash attack in the future. I really like the dash attack. I'd be lying if I said I hadn't died in this room before. I've definitely died here. These guys are pretty powerful. Ah! Ah! <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Now you see why I've died here. Ah! I knew I hit him at least partially. Ah! There, oh! Hey! No! Oh, I'm dead. I... That's almost exactly how I died the last time. Is that I got hit, I fell down, and then when he gets back up, he, he's dead. And it's like, why is that the case? Yeah, so as you can see, this is now opened. We can get down here faster. I am going to head back to that room. We want to get through it. Oh, I had an execution. I've not seen an execution on him either. Okay. Try and take this slow. It deserves slowness. And try and do it properly. Hey, Ted. Cat's around. There we go. Got him. Oh! Oh gosh. Oh! 
<laughs> Why would you climb up there, guy? Give me a break, Penitent One. And now this happens occasionally. I can't possibly get that guilt back. You know, it's not it's not going to actually be physically possible for me to get it. Alright, Vertebra of John the Gambler. Known for his gambling skills, many believe that John Van Gammermin's fate was guided by the high wheels. The day his luck ran out, so did his life. Thank you so much for funding this game, John. I want you to know, I appreciate it. I also appreciate being able to kill them from underneath. Because that makes that easier. Oh, come on. I don't appreciate that you've put my guilt down in the spikes where I can't possibly get it. Like, that's a little frustrating for me. Come on. Got it. I'm gonna heal again, because I can. Go, go, go. Got it. <sighs> Got him. Okay. Empty bile vessel. We know what that does, and we've read the lore before. Great. All this, and up we go. We do need a place to fill our empty vial vessel. We definitely have enough to make sure it gets filled, which is great. Let's check here first, but remember that there's a ladder up. And let's fill our bile vessel. 900! And we have five. Whew! Breathe a sigh of relief. We are getting there. Yeah, see, here's one of the big chains that I'm talking about that I think is what got this done for me. Yeah, wait, why don't we wait till the ring happens? Ah! Come on this way, flagellant. Yeah, yeah. Got him. Okay, bell ringer's good. Ah! Now here we have to time this right so that we get this to open. We don't get hurt. Ah, a little too soon. We gotta wait till it's just about over our head. This is not too much of a puzzle platformer. Oh, you're kidding me. Let's move a little more. So, you won't see too much like this in the game. If you're worried that the game has a lot of this stuff, it doesn't. There we go. But I am at about the point where I can tell you, honestly, that I think this could be my indie game of the year, which is funny, because I really liked Katana Zero. And I thought it was going to be Katana Zero. But I'm no longer sure that it actually is Katana Zero. Oh, come on, that should have been timely enough. We can see we slip that, so I am wondering if we go back, when we look in the background, if the image is going to be gone. Let's head to the left first, because the left is the trickier side. There we go. Now, this is also interesting because <laughs> what these levers does do, these levers do, is actually stop these into place. 
but I find that you don't really need it. You can just hit it. And we get a knot of rosary rope. This will allow us to increase the number of rosary beads that we have active. Take a look. Rope knot made from the threads of habits of monks deceased in ancient times. Ingracia was her name. Her rosaries were the prettiest of all custodia. The most prestigious priests and bishops frequented her workshop, and even our very holiness Escrobar commissioned her. Such was her mastery that a rosary crafted by Ingracia was unparalleled in beauty, delicacy, and perfection. Word spread that a rosary that was not made by her would not receive divine blessing, and prayers would not be heard. And besides, that would be a sin. This caused all the others to become banned by the Holy Mother Church, and those so-called false rosaries were sought and burned. Someone who kept a deceitful rosary would be severely punished, sometimes even accused of heresy. Then we all began to wonder what would become of the rosaries when Ingracia was no longer with us. And I believe we will hear of Ingracia again. It's interesting because a lot of these characters do come back around. I don't know that we encounter all the characters, but they do come back. Okay, we're gonna kill these guys as we go. This section is interesting because you can tell by the fog underneath that if we fall, we die. A nice spot here for killing folks. Which makes me sound really bad out of context. It is a great spot for killing folks. Like. These ones do not crack. I think I can get this, but it's really close. Oh, I thought for a second, I was like, what happens here? Do I die? No. I'll try one more time. Got it. There we go. Six of 38. Kind of like an indicator of how close to finished we are. Not very. Yeah, he's melted. Great. Oh, we can't actually get over there, because you'll see, again, we've got that uh, tree that way. And unfortunately... That tree keeps us from getting anywhere. Uh, and I'm going to take a picture of this spot just so that I don't forget to come back once we have whatever that rolled up thing's ability is. I don't have that in my other game either. I'm just going this way first. I think this is a loop back. Yep, shortcut enabled. We are almost done for today! <laughs> well, it's a good thing that I got that, that I got that shortcut, isn't it? I actually wanted to go a little further. Now I think I'd feel bad if I stopped there. Okay, we should have the sin here, yep. Or not sin, the guilt. Great. You can jump on the ladders, which is nice. Alright, here we go. We're almost done. I probably should have hopped on that there. So I'd say there's probably less than five minutes left in this episode. Whoa! Forgot, forgot! It goes under. Oh man. No!
Why am I so stupid sometimes? Sometimes I am very stupid. This is one of those times. I mean, there are way more stupid things that I do, but... This is one of those times that I don't feel particularly intelligent. At least I got the, the uh, cherub, though. I don't remember the official name of the cherubs. But at least I got it. If I, if I died and didn't get it, that would be way more upsetting. Oh, come back. Don't make me wait. It's going to make me wait. If you're wondering, I do highly recommend that you do everything I'm doing now before you go down further. Because you can go down further before getting here. As you can see, this is, uses the relic. And we get another empty bile vessel. You would not get this sixth empty bile vessel if you did not have the relic to make the blood platforms appear. Super important relic. And highly recommend that you get that key and go back as soon as possible. Because otherwise, you just have so much backtracking that you'll have to do. You'll have to do some anyway. Oh, thou art the answer to my prayers. The order thanketh thee for thine aid. It is of little use for me to remain here. Go with the Father, O penitent one. Thanks, buddy. We get the fourth toe made of limestone. We'll check that out in a minute. I want to get back first. Again, we got to make sure that we are ready for it to come. And now that we have actually turned these on... Ah, uh, I just missed. Now that we've actually turned these on, he's going to be able to walk across to get where he's going. Tell you, somewhere between my computer monitor and the TV that I'm using is the perfect color because the contrasts are quite different. The blood looks much redder on the computer monitor than it does on this TV screen. And now we get out the other side of the bell. Okay, we're gonna head down. Hey, okay, that's one. Oop, there we go. You can actually just jump over them if you want. Again, we need the relic for the blood platforms. And here we get dried clove. Rare and fragrant spice coming from distant lands. Trading caravans stopped traversing these stony roads long ago, making this item a rare discovery. In the past, it was highly prized for its strength in poultices and bombs. We know that Tirso wants it. It was not just heresy anymore. The illness had reached Albero without warning. The outbreak and punishment of the miracle so often discussed came through a young man who arrived to a small congregation full of fear, wondering what his unforgivable sin had been to receive such a condemnation. And then the kissers of wound can help out. Because wound kissing is a very healthy thing that you should do. Please don't. Please treat the wounds. Don't kiss them. There we go. We got a... A, uh... Pidia here. As you can see, we are back in the Brotherhood of the Silent Sora. We have another Mea Culpa. The virtue of Mea Culpa hath ascended. So one of the things that has happened now, in addition to having access to these cool things, which we have access to, 
This costs 2,000 for a ranged attack. The ranged attack is good and lets us get some uh, cherubs that we couldn't get otherwise. But I'm not going to do anything right now. The Nea Culpa statue also increases the strength of our weapon. Very important. Check out this door. You can see now we can warp between Mercy Dream, Albero, and the Brotherhood of the Silent Sorrow. Because that's where we are. If you want to know exactly where we are on the map, we are right here, just below the starting area. This one is... yes. There's a blue candle here. Important to note. I'm probably going to take a picture of this. That's comes in handy later. Do you want to give the knot of rosary rope? We do! The maximum rosary bead slots have been increased and otherwise... No answer. And you'll see on the map that we have... Well, we won't see until we leave the room. That one has an icon too. It's a rosary bead. So, we forgot to take a look, but the fourth toe made of limestone. Toe from the statue of the first barefoot pilgrim. The fourth toe bore the memory of his partner. So as not to forget better times, reduces dodging cooldown. Finally, he said, a genuine genuflecting pilgrim will always walk alone. It is the solitary path that will grant him constant meditation and understanding of what it means to be a pilgrim in the land of the miracle. For that is our rule. Then he got up, looked at all of us for a long time while we remained silent. Then he left and we never saw him again. I will actually put that on because it's related to my dodge times, and I like good dodge times. And look over here. We have another Sin Dude. We will get rid of our guilt. We have guilt in the bottom of the pit. The guilt has been expiated. We have guilt in the bottom of the pit, uh, and we can't do anything with it, obviously. So... Good to get rid of it. Bitter moments reunite us again, penitent one. An unsurmountable war seemeth to interpose itself between our feet and our holy destinations. Will there ever be a blessing that save us from this sorrow? You'll see. It looks like we can attack this wall, but the wall's not breaking. I will make one attempt at this now, and if I fail at this, then we will stop here and do it next time. But this is a really neat room. You can see all the spikes. This room is a platforming challenge. Okay, I'm going to focus. Ah! There we go. Okay. As long as we don't fall on the spikes, we're okay. It's the fikes... The, the fike. It's the spike falls that are really bad because they end your run. I think we did it. Got it in one. Awesome. You have acquired the Metatarsis of Rick Usio the Traveler. Did I look at him? I don't remember. Known for his gambling spill. Yeah, I did. I did. And I did. Thank John. Almost no details of his background are known, but those who cross his path claim later that. Rikusio carried a small, strange, luminous plate that emitted a faint voice. Thank you, Rikusio, for funding the game. Very much appreciated. I think it's important, again, to stop and take the time with everyone. We got another statue, another candle. Sorry, another statue. Nothing happened. Those will come about later, so again, it's important to know where they are. And when we hit it from this side, the wall goes away. Worthy of thine infinite compassion, 
Blessed are those of us who find it. I will pray for thee and thank the master for his holy encounter. Now my feet are marching towards holy prohibitions. How can a simple pilgrim advance through such fortification? O oh, fraternal father, O oh, master of pilgrims, how arduous are your upcoming trials? It's a great question. It is of little use for me. And he has nothing for me this time. Last time you trained me by giving me a rosary bead, and this time you give me nothing. Thanks a lot, buddy. Okay, and we have a PDO here, so we are going to use it. Next time, we are going to head back down, and as you can see, there's still some areas here we have not explored. We haven't finished the Bronze Frontier. The Bronze Frontier includes the Mountains of Endless Dusk and Hondo, so we'll go back through those. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more Blasphemous, feel free to subscribe. Plus, helps out the channel quite a bit. You can share the video. You can comment on the video. I love talking to people in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.